guys so i was editing and i felt i should give a disclaimer because i didn't do that in the um video when i was recording i just finished watching but yeah so i just want to give a disclaimer not any sort of like um, a, a, a relationship therapist or a relationship whatever I don't know too much I know what I know I know what I've experienced so whatever you watch or whatever you hear me say is based on my personal experience you can share your opinions as well no one should I don't I don't know I don't care if you come for me I'm ready for you <laughs> oh yeah Vines are supposed to be used by or used to guys for how long right now? Anti. Anti supposed to be. You are going to pardon me for like the wind or whatever you be hearing. I wanted to do this in the room, but the fan was making noise too. So wow guys i'm looking at my hair right now and i just realized i was so not prepared for this video like look at my <laughs> look at my hair so guys just just pardon me and because like it shows how much the video like kicked me to to do a reaction to it because but i really i really wish i could redo another one but i can't because if not it's not going to give me the natural reaction that i actually want to show you guys so please just bear with me and enjoy. Don't look at my hair. <laughs> so I decided to come out. Initially, this video I didn't even plan. I didn't see. I didn't plan for this video. I was just sitting my somewhere, and then I saw this recommendation on YouTube. I was watching some YouTube videos. I saw this recommendation. I, I was like, oh, let me watch it because I think I had seen a couple of um. The video circulating on people's snap status and all like oh okay this is a full video so let me watch it and guys there's this the <laughs> paul is annoying me really and i think i need to react to this like i need to say something about this so, so here we go just setting up right now but before that let me properly introduce you guys so I said I need to know when I'll be coming back, I, but it looks like I'm here. So, hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, you are welcome and I hope you stay. So, as I was ranting earlier, I just decided to react to or like put my mouth inside, like the way we locally say, like also talk about what's been going the video that's been going on about paul and chuma this blue therapy video show whatever it is i had started watching from the beginning <laughs> and i got to some point so let me just brief you guys i fast forward because it's not going to be a very long video so and please pardon me i think there is some construction work at the other side of the house so you might be hearing some bangs and all of that so please forgive me this is the only place I can record this video right now. Yes. Uh -huh. So let me just brief you guys on what's happening. So there's this guy and there's this girl. The guy is Paul. The girl is Choma. And they went for a therapy session. And the issue is, I think maybe, the first issue. I don't know if they have other issues that are going to come up. But the first issue is that the guy is complaining about the girls um how should, I, how should i call it the girls cooking yeah so like the girl is talking about how she, the guy doesn't want to eat the food she prepares or has a problem with some of the food she wants to prepare and they are nigerians they grew up as nigerians they are nigerians nigerians is in their blood but it's like something has happened i don't know but like the guy is Sorry, the guy is trying to refuse where he's from and he's trying to make the girl also be like this. But the funny thing is, what's getting the girl confused, and even what's getting me confused, and I'm sure what's is also getting you all confused, is that when they started, like when they first they started dating, the guy the girl said that the guy Paul used to cook for her, like and he was saying he used to cook rice and chicken and all of that. But then suddenly, so now they are living together. Then they were not living. Now they are living together, even though they are not married. 
they're living together and it's like anytime the girl wants to cook or the girl cooks something the guy is complaining either it's not healthy it's too oily it's this is this and the girl is like this is what you were eating before this is how, what who i knew so from the beginning the guy was saying that i was telling the therapist that he had depression at some point he was depressed at some point and food was his get to like food was what was comforting him or how should i say was keeping him sober so now he's trying to like control his health so that i don't know because now i don't know if he's a gym instructor or the but like now he's gymming and all of that first of all he didn't tell the girl that you have ever been depressed and when you were depressed like all you could run to was food this girl had no clue but automatically you just think you can just tell her no i don't want this food i don't want this i don't want this and she'll understand that oh you don't want this because oh, yes, she'll think you've changed like that's one thing i found about guys and they say girls are hard or girls are um like we, we are hard to impress or we are difficult no like there's some just communicate if this guy had come because the girl was saying at some point that like if he had told me this she wouldn't have even brought it up because if they had communicated about this she told but he was saying that he was feeling he didn't want to tell anyone about it because it was more like it really got to him i will understand that or everyone owns his or her own privacy so if you decide not to tell her but at least give her hints don't just all of a sudden stop saying you like some the funny thing is we have a lot of guys out there who wish their women would cook and when i mean cook cook healthy delicious meals you've gotten a girl who is outside africa and she's not denying the fact that she's from africa and she's only trying to cook this kind of food for you and you are saying what you want your steaks and you want your <laughs> he made a funny and silly comment at some point that was what like broke the camel's bag and i was like i took my laptop took my tripod grabbed the chair and i'm like yo i'm i'm reacting to this he was like when was telling the therapist that um imagine one day he goes to it's not even imagine like it has happened he was giving a scenario he was like he goes to um work he sends a client like do this day up down day, 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 like his gym sessions and then he comes back home and then there's whisked whisked play like afro beats whisked play i don't if you guys don't know whisked whisked is a musician i love whisked i love my afro beats beats music or my afro beats you see what i'm saying you come and then the girl is like the playing afro and um, whisked song and then she's just frying oil it's the girl laughed i laughed i'm like what the i tried to say that the girl shouldn't play and she was saying nah i love my afro beat see let's just so let me just fast this forward to where i i stopped then can you can you believe that he made he made an example of he like they going out and then he been in a 2k suit excuse me paul you've been in a two, 2k suit so so i can't say that you are too big to eat your 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 culture food she like she kept telling the therapist that it's not like she's trying to tell him to be eating that every day no at least maybe one sunday afternoon or one sunday evening to do that and i think it's fair like if you're trying to meet each other halfway it's just fair see let's just continue the house to fucking play a whiz kid like we're in a fucking village what type of crap is that I like Afro beats. I love Afro beats. So listen to other genres. What I don't know what you're talking about. I don't eat palm oil every day. I don't know what house you're going to, but I don't eat palm oil every day. I would like to eat these heavy foods maybe on a Sunday. I also eat steak and salmon and sea bass and everything else that he eats, just seasoned, all right? What I'm trying to say is the fact Paul does not like African dishes. We are both Nigerian. Do you understand? Like we have, we come from a place so he's denounced his culture all for his Mayfair clients. This is my issue. Not that I want him to but do it every single day. With the greatest respect, 
the Mayfair clients aren't in your house mm. when so you go home. So why does he come home, home to, with that same attitude then? Choma, Choma has this whole kind of Afrocentric type of, oh, go back to Africa, I'm African and I'm proud. Yeah, we're all proud to be African, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we're in London right now. Like, let's get with the programme, do you understand? Africa, yeah, we could do that another time. But right now we're here. Let's get... I'm so sorry, I had to laugh. Is he serious? He's saying that um, he gets... She, the girl is being Afrocentric and all, but then they are in London, so they can do Africa some other time. And he claims he's proudly African. Like, does this guy really know what he's saying? <laughs> This just brings me back to a comment someone made in the comment section of this video. The person was like, the only thing that is like still keeping Chioma and Paul together is the babe that they call themselves. Because it looks like the guy is not ready to give, like, accommodate the girl. Yeah, that's why I feel. Paul is not ready to accommodate Chioma and understand where she's coming from. This is so plain and I even feel Ghanaian guys can relate to this. Like, imagine you go out, you are living in, in Canada, or you are living in UK or US or wherever, and you meet this Ghanaian girl there, and then you bring her home, you guys are married, or even if you are not married, you are living together, and you know she's Ghanaian, like, you both grew in Ghana, you just came there maybe for school, or you just came there for work or something, it's not like maybe you lived all your life in America, but you are like, you used to eat that when you were in Africa, so now that you are in America, you don't think you should eat that anymore. So we can do Africa some other time. Shame on to you, Paul. Shame. <laughs> ah! A compromise the way you want to eat so that you're both working together. Well, I can easily gain weight and be fucking dirty professor, if that's what you mean. Or you can easily cook for yourself. Because again, like I said, I don't mind if he eats that, but just make it yourself. Or we do it on a Sunday. Yeah, All this fresh that's food a brilliant every single idea. day, I've got things to do. Yeah, brilliant idea. We did speak previously about whether or not you had anything in common, you know, that you do together. This would be possibly a perfect scenario. If, if I had the time. On a Sunday? Go on. Look, okay. Or you just choose not to? No, no, no. To be fair, you know, Sunday, day of rest and stuff. Okay. The, I don't know. This guy wants Choma to be cooking his kind of meal every single day for him. And you're not ready to try local dishes that she's cooking. Nah, the girl can't do that. She's saying, it's either you cook your own food or she's working. Guys, like, can Paul be reasonable here? Like, Okay, cool, but if I have a client and they have, you know, a fashion show coming up, um, one of the models I train, basically, I need to make sure that I'm on her case to make sure that she's getting the job done. You know, if, if I have another client, for instance, in terms of, like, a website design... Who are you I, lying I'm... to? Who are you lying to? Because, remember, Denise doesn't live with us. I live with you to know you have time. OK, I'm not saying you're not, you're not busy. You are, babe, I get that. But you have time. You can make time during the day. He, he knows he can. So what are you lying about? You have time to cook, Paul. OK, OK. I, 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 I could find... All this body, he's wasting it because we don't even have sex, so stop all your rubbish. Ooh, that's okay. a low blow. On, on that note... That's a low blow. Woo, it's going to be a long night. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, that was... That was... You see, you see, don't, don't try with it, girl. Like, when it gets here, everything to say it. <laughs> That's all this body. I just missed it because we didn't even have sex. <laughs> Yo, that was low. <laughs> Let's go. No, please don't make fun of it because this exactly. you know, is a very important scenario. You mm -hmm. talk about your business in a very serious way. Yeah, it is. And your relationship is also a very bad. serious yeah. business. Yeah. Thank um, you. And Shoma has just mentioned the sexual side of your life. Now, has it always been this way? Or no. when you first got together, was it very different? When we first got together, we used to f like animals. Do you understand? We had things to do. We were still busy. You and I, we had jobs. We, were, we had businesses. We were busy. But we made time to have sex. 
now. I don't understand what it is. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if Paul is cheating. I don't know if he's not attractive. We're not it doesn't. Okay, well, we're asking. When was the last time we had sex? Scientifically, yes, we are animals, but we're not in a bloody forest, are we? Do you understand? Like, I'm not just gonna come home, start jumping up and down like a rabbit. Like, who's got time for that? I'm busy, I'm making money. Like, I'm not just there laying around with my legs open, ready to do a madness. It's not like that. When last did you f me? Do you really want to go there? Please, no, answer the question. Do you remember? Because I don't. Uh, I'll tell you. How can I be in the same house, touching myself with a mm. boyfriend in the same house with me? Okay, no, Denise, Denise, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. I've got this. Right. Okay. Let, let's just hear what Paul's got to say. All right, babe. Oh. Babe. I love you. So why don't you touch me? When I, when I come home from work and I, and I see my girlfriend, right? When I just see her, I'm happy. That, that's love to me. That's enough for me. But at the same time, why do you feel like you need me inside of you 247 before you can feel love? I don't feel like I need you inside me 247, but I'm not wood. Okay, babe, okay babe. I'm a woman babe, babe. and I find you attractive no, and I would no, no, like no, to have sex with you once babe. in a while. I, I... Even if it's once a week, babe, babe, babe because babe. we don't... You guys, it's not fair. It's not fair for a lady to be... to get to the point where she's like, she's begging you for your attention. She's begging you for sex. It's so not fair. If you say you love this woman and she's now doing... Um, even if it's one week, even if it's six, even... Why are you all living together in the first place? Why are you living together in the first place? If you are not there to have sex, if see, I'm being realistic, you can come for me from every area. I'm ready for y'all. If you are not ready to have sex, you are not ready to be doing things for each other, then why are you living together if you are not married? Why would you? Because you have to do it. See, I don't even know why you are living together in the first place. Yeah, let me together so I can see her every day and what I <laughs> say that is la this guy is kidding me. Don't do that. Okay. I understand that I might have a high sex drive, but Paul has a very low sex drive and we can meet in the middle somehow. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind having sex at least three times a week. We are not even having that a month. So, of course, I have every right to complain. I feel that it's a disrespect to him and to myself that I'm having to touch myself in my house when I live with my partner. What you need to do first, right? Mm hmm I understand that you love me, but I also understand I love me, OK? So you don't want to have no, sex? No, no, what I'm saying is you need to love you first. I love me. You need to love you more. To, to do what? To not be able to release? No, no, in order for you to not feel like you need me to be inside of you before you ah, can feel loved. Don't let me suspect you because at the end of the day, I don't I understand what this means. I could be in the house with booty shorts, Paul will walk past me. You want me to, you want me to say, hey, you're wearing booty shorts? No, no, you can touch my bum, I don't know, slip it in or something. Do something that men, men do to their, their girls when they see them. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Shoma, do you ever instigate sex with him? All the time. <laughs> There's a situation where we plan to have sex. Paul was, I don't know what happened, he agreed anyway. It's even, a, I'm so embarrassed saying this, like we organised the day where we were going to have sex. I went out, I bought lingerie, I, I bought rose petals, wine, I put, I, you know, dimmed the lights, everything. Paul came in, do you know what he did? He ate and he went to bed. I have to get him on weekends and we have to put it in our diary you because see, he... This is sad. Like, this is real sad. Real sad. Like, it's clear, like, this guy doesn't want you. It's so clear. Paul doesn't want your man. Paul is a different type of human being and he's trying to change your man to also be that type of human being. I feel you should just let her go or she can go. She should be fat. She should <laughs> and maybe let him figure out himself. Because I don't see why a guy would be acting. And one thing I hate about guys is when, let's say, there's a problem. We are trying to solve it. You are the reason for the problem. We are trying to solve it. And then you are trying to turn tables. Who does like why would you do that then at the end of the day they make you feel bad for even trying to bring the topic up 
or they make you feel bad for even trying to address it or then they start pointing out some things like you don't you're not considerate you, you don't you don't understand what the what the what no no what, what were you gonna say see i'm just going to watch the rest of the video by myself on my own to the end i know it's just going to be nonsense i'm probably going to be spitting but then you know i'll put the link to the full video in the description box for you all to go and check it out i feel no girl deserves this this kind of treatment like if you love someone and the person doesn't love you back or the person is not ready to to to, to be a better person i'm not saying be who you want like the person is not ready to be a better person then i think it's time for a split yes it's time for a split for you all to go and figure out yourselves and then if you really think you are, you are, you are, you are ready for each other you guys get back together if you really think nah this is not going to work we have maybe i can find a better person in someone else then that's fine that's fine no no girl deserves this kind of love no guy deserves this kind of love too so then you guys i'll catch you all in my next video i hope you enjoyed this let me guys know in the comment section what you all think about this couple and this situation. Like, if you were the girl in this kind of situation, what would be your reaction? What would you have done? Until then, see y'all later. Bye.